Hey everyone, my name is Miranda, and I'm so glad you're here at GeForce. Here at GeForce, there is one thing that we do our best to practice every day, and that is laugh. Now, I myself love to laugh while playing video games, <laughs> while meeting new friends, and laughing at my friends' <laughs> jokes. But that's not quite the laugh I'm talking about. The laugh I'm talking about is spelled L A F. L stands for love. We want to show love to everyone around us. A stands for accept. God made everyone unique and special and we want to accept everyone the way that they are. F stands for forgive. No one's perfect. We all make mistakes. So it's important we learn to forgive each other. Now, while we love to laugh, there's something else that we love to do here at GeForce, and that is memorizing God's Word. Doing that helps us to learn what He has planned for our lives, and we can become the amazing people that He has made each and every one of us to be. So that means it's time for our Bible Challenge! Hey everyone, I just love all of you, and I love it when we spend time here at GeForce. I love getting to play games with you, and I love when we learn more about God and the Bible together. I love starting a new month. So much love. Do you know what love is? Love is showing others how much they matter to you. I hope each of you know how much you matter and how epically loved you are. As we journey through the Bible, we can see how God's story really is a love story for the ages. God's love story goes all the way back to the beginning of the world, and it even includes us today. See what I mean? Epic. Speaking of epic, let's take a look at our Bible verse this month, which comes from 1 John 4, verse 10. It says, true love is God's love for us, not our love for God. God sent his son to die in our place to take away our sins. When we memorize God's word, it helps us remember who God says we are and how he has taught us to live. When we find ourselves in a difficult situation where we don't know what to do, we can remember what God has to say in his word and we can make the wise choice. Now it's time to stand up and get ready for one of my favorite parts of service, praise and worship. Let's do it.
Wait, wh what are you doing? I'm eating breakfast. These recipes do not taste good, though. I think you're supposed to cook the recipes. <sighs> yes. Mm. They're, that's brilliant, man. Cooking the book. Coming yeah. up. No. No. John. Hello, everyone. I'm John. And I'm Brandon. And welcome to The So-and-So Show. Brandon, do you remember those epic adventure books we used to read when you could choose your own adventure? Like, yes. the, the ending would be different depending on what you chose throughout the book? I remember those, yes. Yeah, well, that's what we're going to do today. Read a book. No, no, no. The audience, you all, will get to create your own so-and-so show. Woo! That's right. We'll put the different options on the screen. And all of you, wherever you're watching in the world, yep. will shout out your choice. We'll go with whoever's loudest. Great, great. Okay, so where do we start? Uh, where do we start? <laughs> where do we start? Well, you know, we have to go on an adventure, right? That's, uh, yes, that's how yes, all the books are. Yes. Uh, okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to... Point at our lips. Okay, now what do we do? Okay, before you go on an adventure, yeah. you need to figure out what you're going to wear. So I think we should dress like mountain climbers. Mount, no, well, that sounds interesting, but I think that we should dress like deep sea divers. Oh. oh. Okay, now it's time to choose. Do you want us to dress like mountain climbers? Or deep sea divers? Start cheering now. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Oh, no. Woohoo! Deep sea diving outfits it is. The people have spoken. Let's suit up. Yeah. Really? Hey, who dives deeper than a shark? <laughs> yeah. I just hope it doesn't mess you up on our adventure. You ready to go? Are you kidding me? No, 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 no. We, we haven't done any training. We can't just what? go. No training? No, I think we should just wing it. No, I think we should train first. What? Oh, sounds like another choice for our viewers. Should we train? Or just go for it? Let's hear your cheers. Training okay, okay, okay. wins. So how do you want to train? With a trainer, of course. Did somebody say pickle jellies? Horvath. Yes, I am Horvath. Are you ready for some trainings? Absolutely. We're going on an adventure. Oh, where is this adventure you are going to? Uh, well, we don't know yet, actually. But, you know, probably somewhere underwater. <laughs> Underwaters? Wow. Okay. First things first. We prep the arms, okay? We swim, one, two, three, and eight. And then we fly, 17, 18, beef, jerky. And then we do this 72 times, okay? Go! Feel the burn! Not George Burr. All right, good jobs. Next move, the water wavers. Are you ready? Here we go. Grab your nose. All right. Now it's time for the leggies. Ready? Hands on hips. Go. My right brain, left brain, we're communicating. Whew. All right, training's over. Thanks, Horvath. Horvath, that's me. See you all later. Clap, clap. All right. Well, I think we're ready now. We just uh, need them to decide where we're going on our adventure. Well, I'm assuming they'll choose something obvious like diving by the Great Barrier Reef. Oh, yeah. It's not like they'd say something ridiculous like climbing Mount Everest. Now, why would you even say... Uh, oh, man. Where's our adventure? The Great Barrier Reef? Or Mount Everest? Shout out your choice. Everest! 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 Do we have to? Well, we can't back down on our promises now. So, Mount Everest, here we come! 
Welcome! Let's go climbing to Mount Everest. You had to suggest deep sea diving outfits. You had to suggest Mount Everest? <laughs> it's Bible story time with Callan. Kellen! What's going on? Oh, where are you right now? Mount Everest? Where are you? You know? I really don't know. You got a story for us today, Kellen? Of course. Today, we're looking at a man named Abraham, or Abram, in the book of Genesis. Now, Abram was chosen to be a part of God's plan to show love to the entire world. And helping me tell today's story is our very own so-and-so show players. Oh, um, thank you. Okay, no, actually, helping me tell today's story is our very own so-and-so show improv troupe. Now, the players weren't given a script this week, so they'll be improvising or making up the story as they go along. And that sounds... It sounds interesting. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt. <clears throat> the so-and-so show improv troupe. Here goes. <clears throat> One day, God spoke to Abram and said, Go from your country, your people, and your father's family. Go to the land I will show you. God told Abram and his family to leave his home and just go without really knowing where. So Abram had a choice to make. Let's see what he did. Listen, the Lord has asked us to go, where? everyone. Sorry, sorry. Where? I yes, where? Don't know. Well, now what should we do? I don't want to leave. Sarai, my wife, what? My nephew, let us build a log cabin on this land and live forever. Wonderful! I love you, Uncle Abram. No, 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 no. That's not what happened. But I can see how you might think that. Leaving your home to go somewhere you weren't familiar with would be a hard choice to make. But maybe if you had all the information, that would help. So God told Abram to go but God also gave Abram a promise. God said, I will make you into a great nation and I will bless you. All nations on earth will be blessed because of you. So Abram's family didn't stay. Oh yes, of course, Lord, we will go just as you say. I'll start packing. I love you, Uncle Abram. <laughs> it's this way. Abram believed and obeyed God. Even though they had lived in their homeland for many, many years, Abram took his entire family and their possessions and animals and left for the land that the Lord promised them. Can you imagine what that must have been like? So here's what happened next. Maybe. <sighs> this is it. The land of Canaan! It's beautiful! Come on, everybody! I love you, Uncle Abram! What should we do now that we are in the promised land? Two words. Dance party. Um, when they got to Canaan, Abram, Sarai, and Lot probably didn't have a club dance party. What did happen was that God appeared to Abram and said, I will give this land to your family who comes after you. Then Abram built an altar to honor God. I am building this altar, O Lord, because you have appeared to me here and you have spoken to me here. And I will always remember you and give thanks to you. God had told Abram that he would have a huge family. But at that time, Abram and Sarai, well, they didn't have any children. So sometime later, 
God spoke to Abram again. God said, look up at the sky. Count the stars if you can. Two, four, six, eight. There's, there's no way that I could count them all. There, there's, there's just too many. Then God said, that's how many children will be born into your family. So now, Abram's got another choice to make. Does Abram trust God and believe what God has in store for his future? Or does he not? Now, hopefully, you're about to find out. I'm going to have more people in my family than I can count? Oh, wow. <laughs> that's, a, that's, that's just crazy talk. That's just not possible. But then, you know, well, God is, you know, God. So, <laughs> that's, all, that's a lot of kids. Am I going to have to change all those diapers? I just don't know if I can believe you on this one, Lord. You know, I do. I do believe you, Lord. I have faith. This is going to be awesome. That's what happened. Wow. The Lord was pleased with Abram because he believed. And Abram's faith made him right with the Lord. The end. Let's give it up for the so-and-so show improv troupe. That's amazing. God said that the whole world would be blessed because of Abram's family. That's a pretty big promise. It sure is. It was all a part of God's amazing plan to show love to the world. And did God keep the promise? Yes. When they were very old, God gave Abram and Sarai a son. And from that son, their family grew and grew and grew and eventually became the nation of Israel. And many years later, Jesus was born into that family. Jesus was the ultimate fulfillment of God's plan to love and bless the whole world. And guess what? What? We get to be a part of God's plan today too. Once Jesus gave his life for us, he made a way for anyone who believes in him to be a part of the family of God. Abram's family is still growing and growing and growing as more people believe in Jesus and share God's love with the world. That's amazing. Thanks, Kellen. Anytime. Hey, see you. Wow, that was an epic plan God had. Yeah, I'll say. Hey, which reminds me, reveal the question. Oh, yeah. When have you made a plan? Yeah, you know, just like God made a plan to love the world, I bet there are times you've made a plan to show love to people you care about. Yeah, like surprising someone with a gift. Or uh, uh, helping a friend out at school. Or celebrating someone on their birthday. Yeah, these are all great ideas. So when have you made a plan? Hey, this was a good show. Yeah. I guess we should wrap up and go home, huh? Yeah, unless you uh, want to go back to Mount Everest. No! <laughs> oh, I said it. Go ahead. If you say so, I'm Brandon. I'm John. And we'll see you at Mount Everest. Mount Everest, the highest point in the world. Is it? I think so. Oh. Is it? Is it hard to climb? Hit that shark out there? No, it's super easy. Oh. 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 Are you okay? I'm okay! Baby shark! Baby shark! Baby shark! <laughs> Mic check. One, two, one, two. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Y'all ready? Yeah. Press play!
Maybe you're listening today and you're wondering who this God person is that we're talking about. If that's you, I want to tell you that God loves you so much that he wanted to have a relationship with you. That's right, the creator of the universe wanted to have a relationship with you. But you see, there was a problem. We all have sinned. Now sin is the unkind and wrong choices that we make. And that sin separated us from a relationship with God. Think of this sin almost like chains or handcuffs that were keeping us away from God. But God had a plan and he sent us the best present ever. His only son, Jesus, came here to live in this world and live a perfect life with absolutely no sin. That's right, Jesus never made a mistake. And he loved us so much that he went to the cross and he died and came back to life to forgive all of us. And because he did this, we are forgiven for all of the sin that we'd ever do in our lives. Now, it might help you to think about it like this. When Jesus died and came back to life, he became the key that unlocked those chains that sin had put us in. Because of what Jesus did for us, we no longer had to be separated from him. Jesus did this because he loves us so much that he wanted to have a relationship with us too. But you know what? He won't force his way into your life. You get to make that choice. And if you've never asked Jesus to come into your life, you can do it in three easy steps. We do it like this, A, B, C. The first is to admit. Admit that you've sinned and made mistakes. B is believe. Believe that Jesus is God's son and that his death and resurrection paid for your sins. And C is to choose to live a life for Jesus. When you choose to start a relationship with Jesus, he goes with you everywhere because he wants to make sure that you live the best life ever. Now we're gonna pray all together. And if you wanna begin this relationship with Jesus, all you have to do is repeat these words after me and believe it with your heart. Dear Jesus, I want you to come into my life. I want to be your friend forever. Forgive me of every mistake that I've made. I choose to follow you for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Yeah.
That is so awesome. You know, if you made that choice today to start a relationship with Jesus, don't keep it to yourself. Tell an adult in your life because that is the most incredible choice that you could ever make. And you know what? When you've told that adult in your life, ask them to email us at kids at springschurch.com or reach out to us on social media because we would love to give you a Bible and tell you a little bit more about that choice you made. Also ask that adult to subscribe to the Springs Kids YouTube channel to make sure you can keep watching these lessons and learn more about God. Well, you know what? I've had so much fun here with you guys. I can't wait to see you next week. Thank you.